Hello guys, welcome to DIY Craftopedia. This is Sanatan and this video is about converting Google Earth map into a stylish color palette themed map for your architectural presentation sheets. This map is a screenshot from Google Earth and I'm going to do this using Procreate app in my iPad Pro 12.9 inches and the second generation Apple Pencil. So this map happens to be one of the site maps of my design of uh, my second year bachelor architecture and uh, what I'm going to do first is take a simple uh, medium brush and use it to trace all the roads and streets of this map. While doing this ensure that you have created another layer and you're doing this tracing on that layer you don't want to do it on the picture layer and I've also selected a color palette from Pinterest for my entire sheet and the main reason why I wanted to color this map because it was just looking very odd in my presentation sheet when all the other stuff is properly color coded and the map was looking really costly so now we are done with the outline of the road now let's just fill the road with uh, this grey colour from my colour palette which I have taken from Pinterest. I'm going to use a um, soft brush and uh, adjust the opacity and the size to simply colour this entire road and ensure that the colour stays at the bottom and the line comes at the top so that uh, it doesn't look odd and don't worry if the colour spills out of the line it's completely alright anyway the other sides will be covered with other colors and it's gonna look fine so this is the style which I'm going to and in case you don't want such soft style you can simply fill in the color even that's fine as well Great, now that you are done with the road, let's create another layer, take the hard brush again, get it back to black and to small size and here I'm going to trace in all the farmlands and all the vegetation patches and later color them with their respective colors. And uh, you need not be very much accurate about this, at least I'm not being very precise about uh, these lands because anyway those parts are not relevant to my design so I'm just making them to look uh, to give the context that my design happens to be in a very hilly area with a lot of agricultural lands around so even you if you think it's uh, not very much important in your design you just uh, make it really randomly it's fine Great, now we are done with tracing the boundaries of these agricultural lands. Now I'm going to make another layer and uh, take the lightest color of my palette, use the soft brush again, uh, adjust the opacity and I'm just going to dab over these lands. Just not giving a solid fill because that's not the style I'm going for. I'm going for a very soft uh, overlay and I'm going to use the darker shade as well. So. All you can do is just take the soft brush, increase the size, reduce the opacity and then dab over all around. Now another layer I'm going to make for the darker shade and this is going to be at the bottom of the first layer which is the lighter color and uh, I think that's going to give a good overlay of the entire map. Yes, that works. 
now let's go for the vegetation again another layer adjust the shade according to your palette and uh, i'm taking a medium brush with size which is almost similar to the size of the trees uh, the crown size and again i'm just going to do a stipple kind of work i uh, just dab it around all the vegetation areas using the brush that's how it's going to look once you remove the map so you keep on checking or you can reduce the opacity of the original uh, map so that you understand where you have put the color where you haven't that's a good way to do it properly So I guess now we have com uh, completely done the first layer of vegetation. Now let's go for the second layer which is going to add more depth in the foliage. Uh, so for that make another layer on top of this first vegetation layer. Reduce the size and increase the opacity of your brush. Again take the color for a darker shade and just dab at the parts wherein uh, the vegetation looks uh, way more darker than the original layer. So that uh, once you merge both of these layers together, you will get some depth in the foliage. So we are done with this layer. We're just going to glue all the layers together. That's how I'm planning this is going to look. I think it looks fine. Now let me open another layer. And uh, this layer is for the grassy areas to just to give a bit more of greenery. Here you just increase the size of your brush and reduce the opacity and just um, dab it all over the places where there's a lot of grassy area so that um, it gets filled up and looks a bit more green than the arid uh, yellow and brown shades uh, we have. Well, now that we are done with the terrain and the vegetation, now let's go for the houses. For that, I'm going to hide all the previous layers of the colors and just I'm going to let uh, the lines stay in there. Zoom in and take the same uh, size of the brush we have used for the outlines. Instead of black, I'm going to take a color which is um, a very light gray. It's a part of my palette and then simply make blocks of squares, rectangles or any other quadrilaterals uh, in the shape of my houses which are present over there. All you need to do is trace them and fill them up with the color.
well we are now done with all of the houses uh, or maybe we have left some yeah done so now we are done with all of the houses now let's just see how everything looks together let me just open up all the terrain layers perfect well one issue the houses aren't exactly seen against the light background so i've decided that let me just uh, create a duplicate of the houses one and then color the houses in a darker gray shade now i'm going to merge the layers and pull it down and slightly bring them to the right bottom corner so that i get a drop shadow and then go to that layer styling and use the gaussian blur that is perfect now the houses are popping out and that's how i have completed transforming my map which looks this boring into this which is going to look amazing in my presentation sheet hope you like this technique if you did don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned on more such procreate techniques for architectural sheets Thank you and see you later. Goodbye.